Hey everyone, just make a uh, quick video review for Richard Layman's The Woods of Dark. And first, I guess I'll just say, like, this video is a little different than my previous ones because I didn't dress up. Because it's, well, it didn't really feel like it, and plus, it's not really worth the effort, you know, putting my whole Jason costume on for just, like, one quick book review. So I'll just save that for, like, the book collection videos. Anyways, on to the uh, book. I showed this book. A while back in my book haul video and I finished reading it a while back but just never got around to make a review but I guess I'll just uh, now uh, I went into detail about this like a, br a brief detail in my previous video but this is basically a, uh, a novel that originally made credits for like destroying his career and I guess I'm going to say why when this book originally got released, it didn't sell very well in the U.S., mainly because it was pretty uh, butchered by the publisher. And I say butchered because basically he submitted the he submitted the original, uh, I guess, the, the original novel to them, but they really didn't like it. They demanded a bunch of things be taken out, like they want entire chapters taken out, they want also the character of... Uh, Lando Dills, I believe that was his name. Yeah, you didn't want him like completely removed too, and which is kind of after reading this book, I'm kind of can't. It's really hard to imagine the book without him because he's basically a main character. Anyways, they demand all those things, and Richard Layman wasn't really a big fan, but he did just because he was kind of hoping that, oh, uh, once I like once I make a name for myself, maybe publishers will start letting me release the book. Uh, you know. I guess release the books I want to make. So he basically did what they said, and then when he reissued it to them, they made further edits to it. Like they had some other editor to further butcher the novel, so it just made things worse. And then when it got released, it had this pretty uh, unattractive looking cover. So with all that being you know said, yeah, it, it apparently bombed in the U.S. big time. I'm told that the European version wasn't as butchered. Like, it suffered the initial rewrites that Layman did, but it didn't suffer the, the edits that that other person did, like a publisher hired that wasn't Layman. I'm not entirely sure, because, again, I hear several people talk about this book. It seems like a lot of they describe it differently, depending on which version they're talking about. But this is, like, the fully uncut version, like the original version that he was going to release. And... Kelly Lehman, Richard Lehman's daughter, actually, in the, in the foreword of this book, she describes that how she was able to um, restore the book to its uh, original glory. And she also talked about how, like, growing up, she, yeah, she always heard about how her dad was just really, really upset that this book, you know, how it was butchered by the publisher and how it bombed and how it ruined his career in the U.S. So... I mean, that was kind of interesting because it's like, yeah, basically told how she was able to restore it. Although, tragically, Richard Lehman never got to see this book released in its original form because he died in 2001. And this, the uncut version came out in like 2011, 2013 or something like that. So, that's pretty tragic. Anyways, I guess now I'll just get into the actual book itself. I'm going to be pretty light on spoilers, but... Basically, has two group of characters. This is at least the opening. Miope has two group of characters. One group is these two best friends named Sherry and Neela. They were just going on some camping trip together. They you know have some fun and stuff like that. The other group is this family going on vacation called the Dill family, and there's Lando, the father. There's Ruth, the mother. Cordelia. The daughter, and then there's her boyfriend named Ben. They're just going to have some you know, family vacation stuff. And again, I mean, try to be lying on spoilers here because uh, I would say, I would, like, you know, basically, I'm trying to be lying on spoilers. It, after a series of events, they basically get kidnapped and then they get tied to these trees in the middle of the woods. And they find out that there's these, you know, inbred cannibal mutants in the woods called Krolls. 
they were able to get free and all like split up that sort of thing so basically it turns to like this you know big fight for survival for everyone And I guess now, I guess that's actually like your premise. So it's kind of like, you know, I guess the Hills Have Eyes or the Von Tone movies because it has like, you know, inbred Campbell mutants, that sort of thing. I guess now I'll just talk a bit about uh, why I liked in the book. Again, I know I, keep, I sound like a broken record here, but I try to be light and spoilers because I uh, don't want to give away too much. But yeah, the, what I liked was, just like, well, I guess all Richard Lehman novels, it's, you know, pretty gory, and I guess that's some pretty graphic sexual stuff. So, I mean, I guess that's nice for any, like, any fan of Splatterpunk. Oh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought, but... Basically, I guess the best way to describe this book is that it's basically a, um, a trashy B-movie in book form. And I, I'm like, my opinion is, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's a, it's a pretty fun read, but it's pretty trashy. Like, it's, it's not going to weigh words. <laughs> it's just something that, you know, turn your brain off. You know, fun sort of thing. It's pretty much like, I guess you say, it's kind of like the Von Tone movies. If you've ever seen those, those are pretty, uh... You know, trashy, but they're enjoyable. Well, at least most of them. Some of them are pretty terrible, but anyways. So I would say if you, I guess if you're a fan of those that kind of uh, movie or this kind of like tale, then I guess you could probably enjoy it. But keep in mind, like I said, I guess this is one that's going. It's like if you're not into like really graphic, you know, death stuff, but with like blood and guts, and also not a fan maybe some like really, I guess in detail sexual stuff. Because this one's a little bit of us. Uh, I guess it's not really a spoiler, but at one point in the book, like one, one character, he's hiding in the bushes, and he sees like these two mutant inbred cannibal girls. They're like swimming at a lake, and it goes into quite a bit of detail about like the, some of the sexual stuff they're doing to each other. And it's, it's like Valvina, it, it's very like, yeah, I just can't help but think like, yeah, this is uh, this, this uh, like when's the porno music gonna turn on? That sort of thing. So uh, I just thought that was like a little, you know. I guess that was something. But it's not surprising because again, a lot of uh, the old splatterpunk novels are like that. So I guess, yeah, yeah, sorry, this review is kind of shitty, but just want to make a quick video review. A lot of this is kind of, uh, you know, improv, like what I'm saying. Anyways, so I guess uh, that's it. So, so see you guys later.